Hello and welcome to the channel. So you would like to learn how to prospect for gold. Well, I'll be your host along on this journey. My name is Benzo. You may have seen me on Flash in Your Pan or at JP's Bar or in other videos like prospecting for gold in North Carolina or North Carolina gold prospecting. I'm down here in the Carolinas and I try to hit as many places as I can to try to find some gold is what I love to do in my spare time. So in this video series, it'll be a bunch of short videos kind of chaptered out and we will explore the process of prospecting for gold. Or at least how I do it and I'll show you some things that other people do. But over here it's mostly creeks. It's not much hard rock mining or metal detecting. So locating the gold in creeks is what we'll focus on throughout this journey. To start with, we're starting at level zero. We don't even know what gold is. So first we have to explore what gold is, what gold prospecting is, and why we want to do it. So let's look at some of the numbers and some of the history about gold prospecting. Not so long ago, the process of finding this information was not quite so easy. We have a great, great asset at our disposal, which is the internet. You can ask all sorts of things. There are gold coins that are 2,700 years old. That is quite a long time. Most people don't realize that mining was being done on a big scale enough to mint coinage. There are a lot of interesting facts. Some of the gold mines from ancient times are estimated to be 7,000 years old or even older. So what is gold? How do we get it? How do we get more of it? Gold is a, a heavy metal atomic number 79 atomic mass 196 dot bunch of numbers it's really heavy gold is lustrous and yellowish to whitish to pinkish in the wild and is very malleable so why do we all want it it is one of the low melting point metals and that's one reason why it's been used in jewelry for so long it doesn't tarnish it it's almost indestructible as a metal. Very few things will dissolve gold. So it holds up over time compared to other metals like silver and copper, which, which don't always hold up throughout time. They react with the environment. Gold has been highly prized for many millennia. There's still gold in the ground. And that's what we're trying to do as gold prospectors is find wild gold that has never been mined before that's not been in circulation so you're getting unpure gold fresh out of the ground it's usually unpure with silver not much other metals occur with it sometimes platinum sometimes copper that's how you get rose gold and white gold that's in the wild sometimes gold is as far down as i've heard 10 carat with uh, silver and platinum there's a wide range of gold varieties out there that you can be mining so it's desired throughout history along with its more recent applications in technology as a great conductor that doesn't tarnish over time it has even it has increased in value from even olden times it is way more valuable now than it has ever been and it probably will become even more valuable because there is a finite amount of this resource on this planet and you hear a lot about mining asteroids and other planets for these resources in the future and that's because we're going to run out eventually. We got to find more. But there are still gold in creeks and streams. So what do we got so far? We got gold is heavy. It's valuable. It's still available in our creeks and streams. And the value fluctuates with time but increases throughout time. So let's go find some of this gold. But wait, we got a little bit more homework to do. We don't really know where to go or what to do. So let's use this resource we got right here in front of you. You should ask your, your machine, whatever it is, whoever you ask, certain questions like history of gold mines in my state, history of mining in my area, public gold mines in my area, private gold mines in my area. There are also apps like MineApp and other things like that that you can download on your phone and put in your area and see all the active or inactive mines in your area and there no matter where you are in the United States I guarantee you there are more mines near you doing things from 
talc to iron then you just don't even realize there's a lot going on that's a fun fun little uh, fun little homework assignment see what kind of mining is going on in your area in the coming videos I will be exploring myself some of these features to show you what happens in my area what the history is around here and moving forward we'll talk about equipment and then the land and location and a lot of videos on panning and technique and different styles of pan and how to find gold how to read creeks and on into sluicing equipment and on up from there the series is going to expand and it's going to be a nice playlist so if you got no knowledge no skills and you're ready to find out but wait you might even learn something if you know what's going on i might say something a little different way or repeat something i've heard and it might just make it click for you and you might be thinking about gold a little bit different okay so you have your homework assignments and i will see you in the next video we will be talking about some more history of gold and uh until then get in the creek and get that gold and take a look at some of this wild caught native carolina gold here at the end why well, do a gold dance? Thank you.